Hello everybody and welcome back to my review. Today we're going to be going over world modding on Minecraft Wii U for free. Um, so we're going to basically be going over the preparations of how to do that, so what programs to get installed, and how to get your worlds off of your Wii U. This is a Windows tutorial, which means that the programs are going to be for Windows, and there are alternatives for macOS and Linux, but this tutorial is for Windows programs mainly. Let's get straight into it though. This tutorial assumes that your Wii U is already modded with Homebrew, meaning the first step is installing the required programs to get your worlds off of your Wii U and onto your computer. Modding worlds requires worlds to be taken off of the Wii U, edited, and put back onto the Wii U. First, we need to make sure to install or make sure that you have the following programs on your Wii U. Mocha plus FX hacks and FTPU everywhere. If you already have these programs installed, you can skip this section. If you don't, we're going to go to the Homebrew app store once loaded into Homebrew. I'm going to load that up right now. And once that's loaded up, we're going to need to navigate to find both of those programs. Let's start with Mocha plus FX Hacks. I'm going to hit search and I'm going to type in Mocha, M-O-C-H-A. And once that's typed in, you're going to see a few different versions of Mocha. The one we're looking for is Mocha plus FX Hacks, which is this one right here. You can see it's called Mocha plus FX Hacks. Click on that using A and you should be able to install the program by clicking A. Mine's already installed, so it just says reinstall. Then we're gonna go back and type in the other one. So I'm going to backspace all of that out. I'm gonna type in FTP and you're gonna see a few options come up. You can go ahead and download this one on the right. I already have mine on my SD card, but you can just download this one on the right right here. Once that's done, you can hit minus to quit and go back to the homebrew page. Once that's done, I'm gonna move over onto my computer and we're gonna access three different websites to download three different programs. You will only need two, one of them as a second option, but let's just get into it. First off, I'm gonna open up a web browser. Personally, I'm using Opera, and what we're going to go to is this site right here. This is sites.google.com, blah, 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 blah. I'll have all the links in the description. Uh, I'm using this website as a download for Wii U Map Manager um, because I don't wanna get wrapped up in any copyright or software distribution issues. So we're going to download the software from this button right here. It says download here. I'm going to click that, which is going to download a file into my downloads folder. We're going to access another website, which is going to be this one right here. It's winscp.net. Again, all the links will be in the description, so you can access them there. And we're going to hit the download now button here, which is going to download winscp. When we click this button right here, it's going to take a moment, and then the download is going to begin. I'm going to get this into my downloads folder, which I right there. And the next website we're going to need is this one right here. Uh, this is going to be at the Internet Archive, and we're going to go back and get the universal mc underscore setup dot exe file. When downloading this file, do be aware that this is an old version of a program called Universal Minecraft Editor, and there are going to be some things that are broken about it. Uh, I know Matt Price, the creator of this program, specifically spoke about this, but this is the best free version of an NBT editor for Minecraft Wii U edition. Once all these programs are installed, you can close out your web browser, and I'm going to open up the downloads folder which I have right here. In my downloads folder I have the three installed programs that we have. First I'm going to start with Universal Minecraft Editor so I'm going to click double click on this. It might ask my computer for permission which you won't be able to see on the video. Once I grant it permission a pop-up is going to be made. Uh, make sure you to give it an install location. I'm going to click next. I don't want to create a desktop shortcut personally and then I'm going to install the program. This is going to go through. I'm going to click finish. The program is going to start right here. Always make sure to click no. We do not want to update this program. I'm going to close this for now. Next, I'm going to install WinSCP. So I'm going to double click this. It's going to ask if I want to install. You can install for however you'd want to. Uh, it's going to ask my, me for permission. And this pop-up is going to install. I want to accept the license agreement. And I want to click the typical installation for this. I'm going to personally use the commander mode, though you can use Explorer. But this tutorial will be using the commander mode. I'm going to click next on that. Install. And this is going to install onto my computer real quick. Once that is done, I am going to click finish. I don't want to open it getting started page though. This program will open on my computer and it should look something like this here. I'm going to close this out for now as well. Now we're going to get this file opened up, the Wii Map Manager.zip. All I'm going to do is extract all. I'm going to extract that all into my downloads folder here. So I'm going to click extract. That's going to go through. And as you can see, we have this folder here, which is everything in that file. All we're going to need is this and the version file will automatically be created. So I'm just gonna take this out into my downloads folder and delete all of these files excluding the Wii Map Manager. Alternatively to using WinSCP, you can use FileZilla for Linux and Mac OS if that's your preference. And you can also, instead of using UME, use NBT Explorer, which is another option. It's just not quite as pipelined. Once we have all the programs installed on our computer, I'm going to be covering two different methods 
to get your worlds off of your Wii U. The first method uses the program Wii U Map Manager, which we installed. This is going to be the easier and less dangerous way to do it, but in my experience, sometimes it has issues with certain networks. It also takes a little bit longer for everything to load into Wii U Map Manager than it will to do it using the second method, which is by using WinSCP. Regardless of which method you're using, you're going to need to go into Mocha CFW plus FX Hacks. Mine is right there. I'm going to tap it with my finger and then I'm going to attack load there. Once that one's loaded, I'm going to go over and load FTPU everywhere. I'm going to click that one and then click load. Once this is done, I'm going to let my gamepad sit away because now we don't need to use the gamepad at all. You're going to see a message that says FTPU is listening on and then there's going to be an IP address listed. For privacy purposes, my IP address is blurred, but you're going to need to remember that IP address. Now, please note that your computer and your Wii U have to be on the same networks. So they have to be connected to the same Wi-Fi or else the following steps won't work. Moving back onto my computer, we're going to start by using method one. If you want to use method two, you can skip to that section of the video. But for now, we're going to be using method one. I'm going to open up the Wii U map manager, which is going to open up and look just like this. Now, there's an area right here, which is for your Wii U IP. I'm going to input my IP right there. And that IP is the number it is displaying on your Wii U. Once that's all typed in, I'm going to click on the settings logo right over here. And I'm going to choose if Minecraft is on my system or my USB and which language. Once that's done, I'm going to hit done. And once that's done, I'm going to hit start right here should load for a moment as you can see some stuff pop up on my wii u mine is going to be blurred over there but once it is done loading here you should be able to move it around and i'm going to click this drop down now there are a bunch of different numbers right here now each number is a different user on your wii u by the order you created them in uh mine is the latest user so i'm going to hit the nine which is the last one for me do not click the program now or it's going to crash let your wii u cycle through and start loading the worlds uh, this might go for a while, but once this is done, we can continue. It will look like this. There's going to be a list of all the different worlds on this current account. If you choose the wrong account, you can always go up here and click one of these to change. But I'm going to scroll down and find the world that I want to export. For me, this is going to be Battlesnap Wade's Remaster Saga, which is BWS right here. What I did here was just double click on the world. There's going to be three options that pop up. The only one we want to use right now is Export Save Data. I'm going to click that and load it into the Downloads folder. This is going to take a minute and then the save data is going to say that it's been exported. If we check into the downloads folder, you're going to see that we now have the savegame.we file right here. This is important. This, this is the file that we want. Now I'm going to go into the second method to get worlds off of your Wii U. This one is going to be a little bit more dangerous and a little bit more difficult, but it will be more reliable. To do this, I'm going to open up WinSCP. You can't see it, but I've just opened up WinSCP on my computer. It's going to load up and bring up a bunch of different pop-ups. The first thing I want to do in this pop-up is change this to FTP as the option. I don't need to worry about any of the encryption settings here. The host name is going to be the IP address of your Wii U. So that's the number that has appeared on the Wii U. I'm going to get that typed in. Once I have that typed in, I don't need to worry about username or password, though I can type them in if I want. Mine's going to be blank and my password is going to be blank. Once that's done, I'm going to hit save just so I can use this login later. I'm going to give mine a name, which is going to be Wii U and then hit save password because I do want to save the password and then click OK. Then once that's all typed out and I have Wii U selected up here in the corner, I'm going to click log in. Just a note that you might need to change the IP address in WinSCP if the IP address on your Wii U changes as well. Once that's done, we're going to have a big bunch of stuff going on. I'm just going to move mine around a little bit so I have a better working environment for me, but it should look similar to this. You should have two different panes of data. The left one is going to be data on your computer and the right one is going to be data on your Wii U. So on my computer, I'm just going to navigate to my downloads, which is going to be right there, just because this is where we're storing all the data for this video. Now on my Wii U, there are two different areas you might need to look for data. If your Minecraft is on your USB, it's going to be in storage USB. If it's not, it's going to be in storage MLC. Once we've opened up either the storage MLC or the storage USB files, the file structure will be the same. So I'm just going to open up storage MLC since that's where mine is located. You might see your Wii U loading in the background here. Then I'm going to click on user. Then I'm going to click on save. Then I'm going to click on 0005000, which is right here. Then you want to look for 101D9D00. This is going to be the ones associated with Minecraft. I believe that this is a constant name, meaning that yours should also be D9D, but I'm gonna click on D9D, which is mine. Then I'm gonna click user again. Then I'm gonna click on the number that corresponds to my user. The last number in these names is the order that you created your users in. So this is my first user, my third user, my fifth user, my sixth user, my ninth user. If you don't remember what order, you can just click through them and figure out what worlds are where. So I'm gonna click nine because that's where mine is located. It's gonna take a second to load here and you're gonna find a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of different files as I scroll through here. 
These EXT files contain some data about your world and these number files are the actual world itself. So the way to look through these worlds is to double click on the EXT file. It's gonna bring up a bunch of corrupted and weird data, but you're gonna see a name up here. This was Sand Mountain Party, which is the name of my world. So you're going to go through and find the one that you want. I don't wanna get Super Cruxial. I don't wanna get Battlesnap 5. I'm looking for Battlesnap Waves Remaster Saga, and here it is, Battlesnap Waves Remaster Saga. This is the file I opened. So if I close that out, I can see this is the number. The file that it is is right above it right there. I'm gonna take this and move it to the downloads folder on my computer. For this, I'm gonna click OK because I'm transferring a file. It's going to load in for just a moment there, and we're gonna see this file appear over here in my downloads folder. If we check for the regular file explorer view, as you can see, I have this file right over here in the downloads folder. Now that we have this file, this is actually the same file that we have as save game from the previous way. So what I'm gonna do is copy and paste this file just so I can store this name so I don't ever have to look for it again. I'm gonna rename this file to save dot we or any name you want to with a dot we extension at the end because now these are actually the same file i can take this file and name it as this file and it'll be the exact same thing now that we've gotten our file off of the wii u now we need to edit it using a program and the one that we have installed for that was universal minecraft editor i just typed in universal and this program opened no i do not want to update and now we have a few different options I'm going to be covering how to use this program and how to navigate this program in another tutorial. But to just get absolutely started, you want to click Wii U. You're going to navigate to the file, which is either savegame.wii or save.wii for me. I'm going to just open up savegame.wii. And if I click this button, the chunk editor on the left, you can see this is Battlesnap Waves Remaster Saga. Now, just to show you that these are the same worlds, I'm going to get this world closed out. I'm going to open up a new world, and that's going to be the save.wii. As you can see, the WinSCP world, or the one that I got from WinSCP, is the exact same world as the one I got from Wii U Map Manager. They are the exact same thing. So you're going to use my other tutorials, which will be linked above, or if they don't exist yet, I will be uploading them soon. You're going to use those tutorials to edit with this program the world. And once that's done and all saved, we're going to get the program supported back onto the console. The first method is going to use Wii U Map Manager. Now, you might have the program already open if you didn't close it from before, but if not, you're just going to get connected again. Once you are connected, though, you're going to go back to the exact same world you had before. You're going to double click on it, and you're going to see this Replace button and the Save button. These are the buttons we're going to be using to get the world back on. So I'm going to hit Replace Data, and this says Replace Save Data. Overwritten data won't be recoverable. So once this data is recovered, you cannot get the old version, which is why I would emphasize making some backups on your computer. I'm going to click Yes here. I'm going to import save game .we. This is going to take a little while to replace the save. Don't click anything or the program will crash. A pop-up will pop up once it's done, saying that it's complete. Once that pop-up has appeared, you want to click OK. And then I'm going to go over and click Save. This is also going to take a little while, and you don't want to click anything or the program will crash again. Once that is complete, though, it will say World Save. You can click OK. Then you want to click X on this, and then click Stop on here. And then back on the Wii U, you want to click the Home Menu button. So I'm going to click the Home Menu button right there. And from here, the first method is done, so you can skip to the end of the video. The second method to getting the file back on your Wii U is going to be opening WinSCP back up. You're going to log in again. I'm just going to click on Wii U and then click Login. It's going to get connected, and we're going to have WinSCP open again. Just going to navigate to Downloads on my computer again, and then I'm going to navigate back to my save. So remember that it's storage, MLC, or storage USB, depending on if Minecraft is on your USB or on your console. Then I'm going to click User. Then it's going to be Save. 5000 D9D, right there is how I memorize it. User 9000, because that's my user, and we're going to have all these worlds again. This is going to be the exact same spot that we were at before. Then I'm going to take my save.we, and we don't want to replace it yet. Instead, I'm going to click on this. I'm going to click rename and copy that name. Then I want to delete this file. It's going to say, Are you sure? I'm going to confirm. Then I want to click on save, and I want to rename. I'm going to make sure I get everything, delete that all out, and rename it with the name I just copied. So I basically just made that save that other file again. Then I'm going to drag this over onto my Wii U. It's going to say blah, 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 and I'm going to click OK to upload. Then it's going to say you're going to overwrite this remote direct remote file. I'm going to hit yes because I do want to overwrite. It might take a minute here to upload, especially depending on the size of your world and the speed of your internet. And once that's done, the pop-up will disappear and you will have WinSCP here. Just to get this closed, I'm going to hit this little X next to where it says Wii U up there to close the connection. I'm going to close out WinSCP as I don't need it anymore. I'm going to get back onto my Wii U where you can back out of this by clicking the home menu button. 
and it's going to load me back into homebrew from there you can click the home menu again to exit all you need to do now is open up minecraft and your save will be replaced and that is my tutorial for preparing to do world edits on Minecraft Wii U Edition. I'm going to be making some tutorials on how to use UME and how to do specific world edits, so look forward for those into the future, or you can click the eye in the corner to find those if they already exist. Thank you for watching this video, though. I hope it helped you, and if you have any questions, be sure to ask in the comments. Have a good freaking day.